Do you want to start growing your own alfalfa sprouts? Hi, I'm Brianne Gibson, nutrition and lifestyle performance mentor and permaculture practitioner, and today I want to share with you just how easy it is to start growing your own alfalfa sprouts so you can enjoy these living power foods. Sprouts are living foods because they provide live enzymes, which enhances their nutrition and their digestion, as well as helps break down the foods that they are combined with. I shared recently the nutritional and health benefits of sprouts in a video called why sprouts are living power foods and you can check it out to learn more. So not only is sprouts great for your nutrition, but they're also a super cost-effective way to bring these living foods into your diet. At the grocery store, health food store, farmer's market, a typical bag or small container of alfalfa sprouts can range anywhere from three to six dollars. Whereas instead, you can buy a 250 gram bag of organic, non-GMO'd alfalfa seeds in 10 times or more the amount of alfalfa sprouts that you can easily enjoy. So alfalfa sprouts, super highly nutritious food. They contain vitamin C, B vitamins, folic acid, protein, phosphorus, calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, antioxidants, and also beneficial phytoestrogens. So now I really want to just share how easy it is to start sprouting alfalfa sprouts in a jar. All you need is a one liter or like I have here a 1.5 liter mason jar. You need a piece of cheesecloth, nylon, or a top lid with a strainer that attaches right to the mason jar. So cheesecloth, nylon, or a strainer lid, as well as organic non-GMO alfalfa seeds. You add one to two tablespoons of alfalfa seeds in the bottom of the jar, top it with water, and let it soak for four to eight hours. After that, you'll rinse the seeds and you'll place it, the jar, in a bowl on a 45 degree angle. And for the next three to five days, you'll be rinsing the jar twice and then replacing it back in the bowl just like this. And over that period of time, um, I've been sprouting these for four days now and as you can see, they're almost ready. And what I'll do is I'll rinse them one last time, let them dry off, and then put them in the fridge because they'll last longer when they're, they're placed in the fridge drier. And after that, Consume them, enjoy them, smoothies, wraps, salads, soups, whatever you like to enjoy the sprouts on. And it's that simple. So I hope this helped um, so you can just start making your own sprouts, saving a bit of money, and bringing these live foods into your daily diet easily. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more about living foods, nutrition, and permaculture in future videos.